Hello, I'm Shelly Rothis, and I'm a different kind of victim. Ooh, uncovering the mask. Now, this is going to be a video just based upon a previous video where I had shown how Unshorn Contasanova sounded just like the ringleader. Well, guess what, guys? I also stated how I was the brain in that the clan that I was in as for bullying. It's true. Okay. When I was in the clan, I had said that I wanted to learn how to be mean, you know, and defend myself. And guess who taught me? That's right. Pootie Lou William. Well, I was kind of shocked based on the comment that Ken, I'll, I'll, I'll say the, the friendly dork had said, yeah, that's not Ken. And that's not that friendly dork I know. Even when he's mad at me, he never talks like that. He doesn't have that in him. That would be Pooty Woo William, the ringleader. You know how I know? I used to do the same thing. That's right. Pooty Woo would actually write out everything for me to say as in comebacks for bullying people when I wore that asshole hat. And, yep, that's how I did it. He would give me what to say, and I would copy and paste it. That's exactly what Unshorn Contasanova recently did. He actually went into my group, and he copied and pasted it into my group. All words of Pootie Lube William. That's right. I even showed examples in this video as to how I'll say that friendly dork actually talks. That's right. He's still that friendly dork, but he's under the wrath of Pootie Lube William right now. I mean, I think it's hilarious, you know, that they're still in the hate group and they're talking about unshorn, you know, Unshorn Witters, I'm sorry, Unshorn Contasanova is talking about me and so are others. They're talking about Santa Viking and, you know, saying all kinds of stuff. I mean, I love this, this one I heard, you know, is that, you know, maybe me and, you know, Santa Viking can go to the clinic and get, you know, a double, you know, because we're going to get a sex change, you know based on what they're saying is that we'll both go and get a sex change, you know? I mean, I mean, it's really sad that people actually think these are the types of friends that you want to have in your life. You know, yeah, they're really trustworthy, you know? Santa Viking came out and entrusted these people with something personal about himself that, you know, you would expect a friend not to use against you in the end. I mean... Yeah, well, he's under the wrath of you-know-who, you know, all those people, and they fall along. But again, you make the choice to do it. Just like Unshorn Contasanova still made that choice to take what Pootie Lou, the ringleader, cult leader, told him to say to me and send it to me and say that he actually wrote it. He didn't write it. That's right, guys. <clears throat> now... You're talking about Santa Viking and me getting a sex change. You know, that's a good idea. I mean, that means that I get to stand up and, you know, pee. And I don't have to sit down anymore. You know, I'm going to get a slightly used one on eBay. A slightly used penis on eBay. And, and, and but I want it circumcised, you know. And, I mean, at least that, you know, unlike... All the feral cats that, you know, get, you know, they're not neutered, so, you know, I, I don't, I won't have to get, worry about, you know, getting somebody pregnant, you know. <laughs> it's, 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 it's slightly used, it's probably not that good, so I, I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sure Contasanova does at his place. <laughs> He's always getting little ones, you know. <laughs> Anyways. You know, that, that's great. That's a great idea. So me and John Paul were planning to go and get our sex change, you know. I'm, I'm kind of excited, you know. You know, but, you know, 
I'm just, yeah, 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 I'm just gonna get a slightly used one on eBay, possibly, you know, and he, he might get, you know, a slightly used, you know, vagina on there, too, so, mm. unless you guys want to pay for it, you know, that'd be, that'd be great, okay, anyways, so, you know, I have this, you know, I mean, I might need some of this, you know, but I was gonna send it to Unsure and Contest Nova, you know, because he said he had some sensitivities, you know, so he might need it right now. Okay, guys, I mean, I, I think that's really great, you know, because, you know, you're being really nasty and everything, you know, because, you know, you got to stay over here. Just like my friend explained, you know, with cult leaders, all their followers, they better follow, otherwise they're going to go down, you know, and I guess it's, you know, that's very true. I mean, you can see it because... There's that friendly dork that I know. I mean, I was just so odd that he could say that. I mean, it was like, wow. And then I figured it out, you know? It's like, you know, even my friend, my friend, she said basically he's a nerdy biker, you know? <laughs> that That's what she said I should call him, but I always, I honestly thought he was just, a, that's what I thought was he was a dork. A friendly dork. So, anyways, I just like to, go back from based on the previous video showing how similar the words are. And that's exactly why. It's because they were exactly from Pooty Loop's mouth that he wrote. All those degrading things to me was from Pooty Loop, William. That's right. That's why everybody says that I should have been a lawyer or in the CIA. You know, I hear I heard that all the time even when I was escaping my abusers. People would be like, you know, wow, how'd you figure that out? And this, that, that, that. Yep, that's, that's right. I was the brain in that group. That's why I'm his, you know, worst enemy. Even though I was out of that group for over six months, that's why they still attack me. Because they know that, that's right. I'm not blinded like most of them. I usually figure things out really quickly and they don't like that. So they lost the brain of the group. Sorry, right, guys, I figured it out again. So just remember that. Cult leaders, they really have those followers underneath them. And those followers do follow those orders. Otherwise, they're going to get in trouble. And they do copy or even just take that ringleader's, you know, orders, you know, like Gunshorn Contasanova did this time and took what the ringleader told him to say to me and actually did it, even though it was really cruel and unlike that friendly dork would ever say to somebody that's what happened he was under the wrath he chose to do it instead of being that friendly dork he chose to be the asshole he wore that asshole hat that's right so until next time i'm shelly rothis and i'm a different kind of victim see you next time